Uh, I don't know, Sean. Thought you'd have something to say. I just know, I don't know, man. This hurts, you know. Hard to put into words right now. Honestly, I need to sleep on this. It's you play to win the game. You know, you've seen all the you've seen the guy up here say it. Like that's why we out there. It hurts. I'm 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 in pain right now. I don't I don't really have the words to describe it other than that. Did you feel the air kind of escaping from the team towards the end of the first half? And if you did, was there a concerted effort to get it back in the second half? And was it difficult to do? I yeah I don't I didn't feel what you're talking about um, at all. I thought we were in good shape going into half. We were up by three. Um, yeah, I mean, how you come out of the second half, score, stop, you know, sets the tone. And I don't think we did either. So, yeah, it's a game of inches, and we lost by a few. Purdue ran the ball a lot more than they had in their previous games. Did that sort of catch you off guard on defense? No. We were, kind of, we were, we were ready for it. They had to establish the run to, to set up their pass. So if, if, they, if they couldn't uh, run the ball, we were just going to drop eight. So... That's their, probably their game plan every week is to establish the run, open up the pass. So we just got to play fundamentally sound in our gaps, tackle well, et cetera. Jojo, I, I would imagine players notice a little bit the vibe in the stadium, you know, especially a home crowd like that, whether there's, you know, a burst of enthusiasm or kind of a lull of anxiety. Uh, did you, what was your characterization of the stadium in the fourth quarter? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I noticed that uh, people were leaving, but it had no effect on the game, and honestly, I don't really care. So it is what it is. Husker faithful stands by us. Fair weather. We don't need you. That's how it's always been, how it always will be. The onside kick at the end of the game, did you think you guys had recovered? I thought we did. Yeah. Yeah, they we they had all the momentum until we went down and scored, onside kick away and a tubby away from winning this close, you know, throughout the entire game. Just little things here, little things there. Um, we're all going to, when we hit the pillow tonight, just replay those things in our head and what we had control over and what we did in. And we were talking in the locker room how it would be easy to give up right about now. Really easy. Guard, uh, less painful when you're one foot in, one foot out, but that's not what this program stands for. That's not what Coach Frost stands for. That's not what I stand for. And we have to continue to lean into this. Um, three games, spoiler alert, win all three, go to a bowl game. Uh, uh, the ups and downs that we've been through and all the adversity that we face, like everything that we want is still in front of us, which is like hard to fathom even at this point. So it's just one day at a time, one foot in front of the other. We got to do we got to do little things and individually, we got to do little things a little different. It's our approach, it's our mindset, it's our habits. Can we can we just shift our approach just this much individually and then collectively it all shifts to where things roll in our favor, you know? And the ball bounces in our hands, not theirs. Scott said that you talk about edge and sort of ha having that. Is there I mean three point loss or a five point loss? Is there something different, or has there, is there something that's faded since Michigan was here, or, or the Michigan State game? Because I know the results have been the same, but the games, Minnesota and this one, have felt different a little bit than, than those two before. Yeah. I mean, what are you, what are you asking again? Do, do you feel like the team has carried the edge that it played with, even close losses against Michigan State and Michigan, through, through the past two games? Uh... I think, we, yeah, we did in the second half versus Minnesota, and I thought we did today. Uh, it's not a matter of want-to for us. You can't, like, you can't, you can't challenge, like, our want-to. Like, that'd just be, like, the, the man in the arena quote. Like, that's just unfair, plain and simple. But there is, obviously, there's something that's not creating the result that we want, and, you know, I'm here for, I got three games, hopefully four games left in this thing. I'm going to do my part in, in bringing everything that I have to the table and to building this culture and to representing this N and to represent the last name on my back, and that's what I'm worried about.
So, so it seemed like the Purdue offense was very methodical today, run the ball, short, quick passes, and their receivers were able to get the ball, even though you guys seemed like you had some pretty good coverage. How can you defend against something like that where they're just making those catches and getting those first downs, even though the coverage seemed like it was pretty decent? Yeah, they're, they study tape too, and they're going to use our leverage against us. That's the offense. Offense's philosophy is take what the defense gives you. If they're playing inside leverage, go outside, outside, go inside. Like, it's fairly simple. It's just about execution. And, and, and for me specifically, like, they RPO me to make me wrong. Um, if I'm inside live, they're going to run away from me. If I'm outside, they're going to run away from me. So it, it's, it's tough because you're, you're in a run-pass bind, and it's just the name of the game. Um, I wish I could play those a little better at times. Like I'm this close to jumping one or <clears throat> tackling it for no gain. So, <sighs> yeah, that's, that's the game of football. Hey, Joe, that, that, that pain that you say you're feeling, how much of it is directly related to – you know these 60 minutes, and how much of it is about you know the decision that you the decisions you've made in your career to fight through injury, to come back for a sixth the sixth season, and to continue you know at this point not to get over the hump. Mm. Yeah, I mean it's a culmination of all of it. Um, when we were training in the winter, training in the summer, you know you uh, visualize, manifest, dream about how the season's going to go, and it hasn't gone that way. I mean, it rarely goes how we think life's going to go. Uh, but I'm just disappointed for this program, for the state, and for the guys in our locker room. Like, man, we are a tight-knit team. I'm having, I told the guys last night, like, I'm having the most fun with the guys in the locker room that I've had in a long time, really since high school. And uh, we want to win. We work hard. Like, we go down there. I know y'all, they don't let y'all into practice, but we work our butts off. And we do everything the coaches ask of us. And we're still in these situations. So I've touched on it before. Like, we just we can't be defined by these moments. And even though, you know, like we have this emotion attached to the win or loss, we play for Nebraska. You know, I, I take pride in that. And I demand respect about that. And that's how I play the game is I want to I earn respect out there. Um, the wins and losses are, are beyond me, you know. So appreciate you guys uh, sticking with us and whew, not digging in. It would be really easy to dig in from out there. So hang with us, man. We're, we're doing our best, and it will turn around eventually. And when it does, it will be that much sweeter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep.